Hello, and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on SIRDS. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? It looks very simple, doesn't it? But I think it's a little bit tricky. Good luck with it. SIRDS. What is a SIRD? A SIRD is an irrational number involving a square root sign. So the two important things to know are it's an irrational number and there's a square root sign involved. Some examples of SIRDS. The square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 5 and the square root of 7. Now these are irrational numbers because there is no exact answer for any of these. That's the reason they are irrational numbers. Simplifying or reducing thirds. Reducing thirds helps us to simplify them and can also help us to approximate the square root of some numbers. Example 1. Reduce the square root of 8. Now the square root of 8 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Now we know that the square root of 4 is 2, so the square root of 8 is 2 times the square root of 2. The second example, reduce the square root of 12 and find the approximate square root given that the square root of 3 is approximately 1.732. So here's how we do the answer. The square root of 12 is the square root of 4 by the square root of 3 because 4 3's are 12. We know that the square root of 4 is 2. So the square root of 12 is 2 times the square root of 3. Now, we've been given that the square root of 3 is this answer here, approximately. So 2 times 1.732 is 3.464 so this is an approximate answer for the square root of 12. Adding and subtracting thirds. Some examples. 3 the square root of 2 plus 5 the square root of 2 that is 8 the square root of 2. Now this is very similar to adding like terms because here we've got the square root of 2 and the square root of 2 and just pretend they are the like terms. So when that happens, all we do is add the 3 and the 5, just like we do in algebra. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 times the square root of 2. Next example, 5 the square root of 3 minus 2 the square root of 3. Now 5 minus 2 gives you 3, so the answer is 3 the square root of 3. And here are the, the like terms here, the square root of 3 and the square root of 3, they are similar to like terms. That's why we can do it. The next one, 3 the square root of 5 plus 4 the square root of 5 minus 2 the square root of 5. Now you notice the like terms are here. We'll call them like terms for want of a better word. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 take away 2 is 5, so it's 5 the square root of 5. Here, now the like terms are here and here. So 5 the square root of 3 minus 2 the square root of 3 is 3 the square root of 3. And 9 the square root of 2 minus 7 the square root of 2 is 2 the square root of 2. So that's the answer. Multiplying and dividing thirds. Multiplying and dividing thirds is very straightforward, as can be seen from the following examples. So the square root of 3 by the square root of 2 is the square root of 6. 3 2 is a 6. Square root of 2 by the square root of 3 by the square root of 5 is the square root of 30. 2 3 is a 6. 6 5 is a 30. 2 times the square root of 3 by 5 times the square root of 7 is 10 times the square root of 21. 2 5 is a 10. There's the 10. And 3 7 is a 21. Square root of 10 divided by the square root of 2 is the square root of 5 because 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 the square root of 10 divided by 4 the square root of 2 is 3 the square root of 5. 
12 divided by 4 gives you 3. And 10 divided by 2 gives you 5. 20 the square root of 6 multiplied by 5 the square root of 8 divided by 4 the square root of 24. Now this section here, 20 times 5 gives you 100. 6 times 8 is 48. So that section there is 100 to the square root of 48. And there's your 4 the square root of 24. 100 divided by 4 gives you 25. 48 divided by 24 gives you 2. Quick quiz. Now please check with the video at any time to help you. That's what it's there for. And good luck with these. The answer to the puzzle, scrambled eggs. Have a look at it carefully. I think you can see why. Here are the answers to the quick quiz. And please refer to the video at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you'll receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.